Welcome back to another nightmare. If you want to check the rules for the challenge, please check the details down below. While you're there, if you could give a like and subscribe, I'd appreciate your support. So, about six characters died in the making of this warrior, and I am very proud of it. So far, we've been able to cap out dexterity. We're going to get the strength at a base level of 80. That's going to be the number in which all armor possibilities will be able to open up to us. And then after that, we'll invest every single point that we have or get in the nearby future when it comes to level ups, all into vitality. That way, we can be able to outlive all of the things that are going to be waiting for us in all the other dungeons that being said we need to get to dungeon two and we need to start kicking some ass demon ass that is do demons have asses i don't know pretty sure most of them are skeletons anyway Trace. let's find out Ooh, we're starting with the sarcophagus oh puppers that's what we're doing now got it oh it's a bunch of puppers this right here this is the run where it's gonna be a bunch of stuff that is just going to try and immediately one shot us i can already feel it i feel it in my bones dungeon three right there happy 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 more puppers lots of puppers yay lots of puppers so far it's all good all the demon puppers are coming through we see you we all see you oh boy here we go if i could run to the side real quick oh no it almost died okay now we can be able to take on the skeletons see one of those things not you cannot be afraid to fall back otherwise they're just going to be able to take you out like if it's nobody else's business oh no the fact that we have such superior armor at this point is a testament to how well we've been able to level up thus far hence why my strength is now at 65 and we are a hop scup and a jump away from being able to achieve the next three levels with ease it's probably not going to be that easy but a, you know like a dream oh you approach me Oh my god. Here we go. It's a fight and a half. Ah, got this. Oh no. Oh my god. It could teleport. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to run. Oh, we need to run. We need to run and we need to equip this thing. There we go. Okay. Now we can be able to fight it head on. Come on. Yes. Victory. And to the victor go the spoils. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Those riding corpses, they hit like trucks, man. I gotta keep the, the club on. Oh, I thought that that was a zombie. Never mind. Very much a piked on corpse. That's a lovely visual. I'd say we're like halfway through the entirety of the dungeon and we're actually doing pretty damn good. Oh, go and all assets on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Thank you. Honestly, I'm very happy about the drops because realistically speaking, the only reason why we are surviving as much as we are right now is just due to the drops it's themselves look at all the things that we could have been able to get oh no it's the butcher maybe uh maybe we'll get back to you in a little bit oh a blade get the hell out of here are you kidding me oh no and in order to be able to get this blade we're gonna have to be able to do some very disgusting things i mean honestly the only way that we're gonna be able to have enough room to carry that thing out is if we sell stuff the first time that i was able to use a town portal and we're already at level 17. I am a happy person if I could ever be one. You have to sell one mace. Alrighty, I'm ready to rock and roll. So clearly this blade is not going to help our cause any more than what it needs to. Yeah, it's definitely not going to help us, which is kind of a shame. I do like the aesthetics of the long blade a lot. Oh, you approach me. We'll go ahead and get those guys later. Right now we have more open areas to be able to go after. At um, oh no. Okay, get the club, get the club, and you'll be able to kill all of them. Oh no. Oh. Oh my god, these things hit. Like, I, I swear, they, they hit super hard for, like, no reason. I need to be very careful when I'm facing mobs. Okay, if I'm gonna be opening doors, might as well go after the easy experience, right? Kill you over here. Kill you guys over here. Cry about the fact that there's way more of you than I thought that there would be. And we profit. Oh no, kill him, get him. My god, these puppers just do not quit. A okay, staff of holy bolt, staff of fire bolt. I think it's time that we can be able to make a town portal run. We are rolling in gold. I've never seen such an accumulation of riches in my life before in this challenge. And that's saying something because I played like 50 million of these challenges myself. We can get rid of the full rejuvenation for now. We can go ahead and sell the blade and the cloak and then we can be back on our way. We can be able to make it through the rest of this dungeon without having to go back to town. Oh no. Well, at least the zombies and the skeletons are getting through. We have two major areas we need to be able to get through and a level up to boot. Ah! 
That was an unintentional undead three-way that I did not consent to be a part of. One more level and we can be able to get to level 80 and pretty much assert top damage. Oh my god, that was just a slew. An entire slew of peoples. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, gotta switch off. Time to make a comeback. Just like five, five of them like literally converged upon me like it was nobody else's business. Oh my god. Had to keep my inventory open just in case that they wanted to try something. I'm gonna have to be able to switch off weapons real quick. Okay. Time to switch off again. Yay. Undead everywhere. Come on. All these piles of your friends and you belong with them. Okay, there's gonna be a point. We're going to need the sword. So might as well switch off now. Get that out of the way. Come on, you, 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 you bony bastard. Oh, do puppers want to play? Oh, we'll play all right. We'll play all night. Go ahead and play fetch. How about that? All righty. So we are so overly done with dungeon two at this point. I think it's fair to say that we just need to pop a town portal, make a couple of trips, and go ahead and sell some stuff. Once we do that, we can be able to pop on back in and we could go over what we've done thus far. I completely forgot about the fact that we have a whole entire other part of this dungeon to be able to complete. Let's go ahead and complete it real quick. Okay, and what I mean by quick, I mean like try and get it done as quick as you possibly can. Clearly, they're not gonna let you. I mean, if there was ever any other way to do this. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, oh, no. Run, bitch, run. Oh, we're not gonna make it if there's two of them attacking me all at once. Ah, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Those mini bosses are a killer right now, man. Well, at least they've been leaving gold drops. Like good little boys that they are. Now, I do truly believe only thing that we need to be able to do now is go into the Dark Passage, finally get level 19, get 80 strength. And that'll be a wrap on Dungeon 2. We can be able to move on to Dungeon 3 afterwards. That will be a story for another time. What would you guys have done differently? Leave your comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to be able to stay up to date with the content thus far. My name is Luxria. I'll see you all in the next nightmare. Take care.